There's one. Yeah, here we go. There's one. Ah, finally. All right, so first one on a rental boat, uh, but probably like the fifth boat in line. Um, and everyone's going to the same place, the cove, where they've been uh, boiling lately, first thing in the morning. Basically, you got about 15, 20 minutes, at least. That's what was the case the last time we were back there. You got about 15, 20 minutes, you gotta be there first uh, in order to take advantage of the striper uh, boil, um, which is what I'm after today. Uh, on the inside of this cove here, as soon as uh, you get past the marina, They've been boiling here the last few days that I've been out here, and including just now, they're boiling all up in this cove, and they kind of move uh, out of the cove. So it's either stick around here, see if I can't catch some fish in this cove, or head straight back to uh, the canyon where everybody is at right now, which it takes time to get back there, uh, especially in a rental boat. You know, there's no wake for a, a big distance, so it takes a while. So I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of cruise back around this cove, see if it's going off and then because it's like you want the ideal situation but you don't want to leave a place where you can catch fish just because you think there's fish somewhere else you know what i mean the one of the golden rules so anyway i'm gonna gonna check this out real quick i think and then head to the to the cove where hopefully they are going off anyway that's it i'm on the water so i will not see you on the water There's one, there's one. Yeah, here we go. Yes. <laughs> it's like they're boiling right on this cut here. Oh, it's a bass. It was a bass. You fucking cut right into him, jackass. <laughs> There's one. Ah, finally. There's a striper. Oh man, I had to hit it right on his head. Or is it a bass? Whatever it was, I had to hit him right on his head. No, it's a, a striper. Nice. Nice little guy. Tried to get it.
heavy, dude. on the boat. <laughs> Jesus. I'm pulling the boat around. These guys are hot. <laughs> God, bass are fighting over it. <laughs> Look at him. All right, well, that was pretty, pretty exciting morning. I just happened to get here at the right time, the right place to get into those boils as they started. The rain helped. It was pretty cool. They're they're boiling in that whole channel there. Whoa. Bass are going off. Hang on. Like I was saying before I had to catch that fish, which I did catch, um, they're boiling a lot back here and I just, I'm throwing the fluke right into the boils. Um, but the most effective thing has been casting it onto shore and just dancing it back into the water. I, was, I got hit so many times that way, I caught a couple nice ones. So they're boiling a lot back here in the bass, maybe because overcast or taking the fluke more often than not. So. Stick around back here. I don't, I don't know if the stripers are gonna come back or not, but that's what I'm gonna do for now. Now that's the problem is, I'm targeting striper and I got caught up with that school of bass and next thing you know, an hour or two slips by. I mean, I was catching nice chunky bass off the flukes, which were, were pretty cool, and I caught the one striper mixed in. I had seen a couple others mixed in, so it was worth it. But you can get stuck chasing those bass sometimes. Luckily this time, maybe because it's overcast, but the bass were really aggressive, so I was getting bites and catching them too. So it was it was okay. It was a nice little diversion from searching for a striper. But I'm back on the move. It's such a beautiful overcast day. I just feel like a striper has got to be boiling somewhere. So I'm checking out another cove, and then I'm just gonna try the open lake, see if I can find them.
see that. Oh, did I miss him? No, he's still, he's still towards me. Yeah. It's fierce. I saw him. I hope I got that. I, he, I saw him like waking on it. Now, it's been a couple hours since I've seen another boat. And I've been all around this area and all the main spots where people fish there's no one there now for a little while it looked a little rainy still kind of does but it's pretty crazy it's like I have old lake to myself so I wanted to leave actually because I, I wanted to kind of make this a short day because I'd like to play some ball today and I can't do both but it's just such a beautiful overcast day as you can see it's like it's hard to leave when it's overcast so I'm back in the first cove there's a lot of birds kind of doing their thing which is always hopeful so I guess I'll check things out for a bit and then just call it but I just wanted to come back to this cove again and, and see what's going on maybe I'll get lucky look at all those quail so cool to see can hear them they make that weird noise a ton of them they had a ton of babies in the spring look at that dozens of them it's pretty cool god you pull it right off the bank and they go ape shit Baby striper. A few of these swimming around with the bass, the little guys, but man, it's cool. Awesome. Beauty. Oh, I just had one off this point. Did not get hooked. Oh, I, I had a feeling about this co. I don't know why. I saw one little hit back here. And then I cast over, and he just nailed it. Oh, I can't believe he didn't get hooked. He grabbed it. So rare they don't get hooked if they grab it like that. It's definitely a striper. Alright, it's kind of an early day for me. It's only about 2 o'clock. Uh, I got other things to do, but it was a good day. Um, we found them in the canyon early on. Uh, I probably should have went straight there. I probably lost about 10 minutes, uh, you know, messing around trying to see if I can get another bite. I should have just went straight there because they were going off. Uh, but the good thing is, is everyone was in the back, and as I showed up, they were already making their way around the big corner, and I was kind of in the perfect spot. That's why I hooked up with that bass, uh, and I kind of stayed in front of the group of other boats and was able to hook up. Uh, everyone was hooking up. A couple guys, man, they were just slaying them. Um, you know, they had the trolling motor, and they were able to just sort of coast along the side and just catching one after the other. 
uh, it was hard for me because I kept drifting and having to restart the, the engine and stuff. But it was it was pretty epic. And when it started raining, they just spread out and they were everywhere. So it was really cool. Uh, it lasted a little longer than it normally does. Um, and then I just uh, start targeting those bass, as you see, that were up against the bank. It was just too fun. They were right up against the bank, and they were chunky bass, and they were just hitting the fluke every time. Um, and then uh, that was pretty much it. I kind of looked for boils, and I went to a couple of coves, messed around with bass just to kind of see what was back there. Hopefully, I got some good underwater footage of that uh, that other cove where there's a lot of bass and, and a bunch of striper mixed in. Uh, but what was cool is at the end, I was just kind of coming back. And I saw a single splash, big enough to be a striper, in a cove across the lake. And I just thought, all right, I'll just, just one splash. And I decided to go over there and blind cast to the point, And boom, I hooked up. But I didn't uh, land him. I barely even got a chance to fight him. Uh, but it was kind of cool that just depending on what it looks like, you can just go to one of these points on the main lake, cast a topwater, and get hit by a striper. I mean, it's just really exciting fishing right now with the striper. And some of the coves, the bass are really fired up and I was catching a bunch on the fluke. And other coves, there's tons of bass. They barely even look at it, barely even move. So you just gotta find the right uh, school of fish that are that are amped up and ready to eat. So that's it, I was throwing the, the spook, I mean the um, fluke. I was throwing uh, the top water a couple different top water, and that was it. I threw a Senko once or twice just to see if I could get a bite, but that was it. So the fluke and the top water, that was the name of the game. So it was cool, and I think I'm going to come back tomorrow morning because i got to hit the, the canyon early, first thing. It's impossible because all the uh, bass boats get back there before I can in the rental boat. But anyway, I'm going to give it a shot and maybe get on the striper first thing in the morning tomorrow. All right, I will see you then.